Finally, it's happening. What NASA is planning will redefine our future. Because this isn't just another space flight. It's the moment we graduate from a planetary species to an interplanetary one. Stick with me, and I'll show you how this mission is the beginning of humanity's empire among the stars. For over 50 years, humanity has been a stranger to the moon. We left our footprints, planted our flags, and then we just stopped going. But why? What if I told you that our return is finally happening, and that this time, it's not just about flags and footprints. This time, it's about something much, much bigger. This is the story of Artemis II, the most audacious space mission of the 21st century. And what NASA is planning will change everything we know about our place in the universe. Stick with me to find out why this isn't just another space flight. It's the first step to becoming an interplanetary species. In 2026, four of our brave astronauts are going to do what no one has done for more than five decades. They are going back to the moon. This is Artemis II, the first crewed mission of NASA's new lunar program, and it is a big deal. We're not just repeating the past, we're building the future. The technology, the goals, the crew itself, everything is different this time. Forget the Apollo command module, meet Orion, a state-of-the-art spacecraft designed for deep space travel. And to get it there, we have the Space Launch System, or SLS, the most powerful rocket ever built. It's an absolute monster, generating more thrust than the Saturn V that took the Apollo astronauts to the moon. And who are the heroes who will fly this incredible machine? For the first time, the crew heading to the moon is a picture of our world today. We have NASA astronauts Reed Wiseman, the mission commander Victor Glover, the pilot, and the first person of color to go on a lunar mission, Christina Koch, who already holds the record for the longest single space flight by a woman, and from the Canadian Space Agency, Jeremy Hansen, an international crew for a mission that represents all of humanity. So what's the plan? The Artemis Sent mission will be a roughly 10-day flight test. After launching from Kennedy Space Center, the crew will orbit the Earth twice to test Orion's systems. Then, it's pedal to the metal. They'll perform a maneuver called a translunar injection, slingshotting Orion on a path to the moon. They won't land, not yet. Instead, they will fly around the far side of the moon, traveling further from Earth than any human in history. They'll see the dark side of the moon with their own eyes and witness an Earthrise that will surely be one of the most photographed moments of the decade. This part of the mission is crucial for testing Orion's life support, navigation, and communication systems in a deep space environment. After their lunar flyby, the crew will head back home for a high-speed re-entry and splash down in the Pacific Ocean. So, why is this mission so important? Why go all the way back just to fly by? Because Artemis II is the final dress rehearsal. It's the mission that proves our new technology and our new spacecraft are ready for what comes next. And what comes next is Artemis III, the mission that will finally land humans, including the first woman, on the lunar surface. Artemis is about establishing a permanent human presence on the moon. Think of a lunar base, a gateway outpost in lunar orbit, and using the resources of the moon itself to live and work there. Why? To prepare for our next giant leap, Mars. The moon is our training ground. It's where we'll learn how to build habitats, how to extract water ice, and how to live long-term on another world before we embark on the years-long journey to the Red Planet. Artemis II is more than just a mission. It's a statement. It's a bold declaration that humanity's future lies not just on Earth, but out there, among the stars. What do you think is the most exciting part of the Artemis II mission? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're as excited about the future of space exploration as I am, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos on our journey to the stars. Thanks for watching.